it's your girl and I'm back with another video. This video is crazy. Um, it's showing how they basically killing us. <laughs> That's it in a nutshell. I really don't have much else to say about it. Check out the video. Like, even the advocacy groups don't give a shit about these people. Like literally, like black lives don't matter here. Deep in the trenches of the COVID-19 pandemic. It looks like a third world country in here. It's This is not what you would expect to see. Uh, this is a healthcare system in crisis. In New York hospitals. No way. This is America. There's no way there's body trucks. There's no, there's no way patients aren't getting proper care. There's rules. There's protocol. We follow those. That's impossible. A harsh reminder, the statistics are not just numbers. Bodies that are just laying in the beds at the hospital because we don't have enough room to put them into the trucks. Like we're just running out of room. It it's honestly looks like it's, a war zone. It's hard for me to say, but you can actually smell fear. You smell death. Walking into the hospital, um, very different feel at this period of time. That different feeling, she says, is one of helplessness. There's little she and her colleagues can do for the patients on their unit. Half are well below the age of 60, people who just days ago had no health issues. The real picture is that the disease is way more severe than anybody could actually imagine. We're going to be faced with this decision of, we've got two patients that need to go on a ventilator or they'll, or they'll die. We have one ventilator. Which one's going on the ventilator? The idea of splitting a ventilator is, is a little contentious right now. If you split one ventilator for two people, you've now taken a tool that gives someone optimal chances of survival and taken that and split that in half. So now two people have suboptimal chances of survival. Can't believe it. That's crazy. Why don't you click a like for me and subscribe? And let me know in the comments how this made you feel. No matter who you are, where you come from, it just ain't right.